Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here. In today's video, we are going to look at changing the subject of a formula GCSE Maths Questions. And these questions are intended for Foundation GCSE Maths. So let's have a look at the first question. Make X a subject of the formula. So we need to make X a subject. So that means we need to write X equals. That means we need to isolate X and get rid of everything that is on the same side as X. So first of all, we're going to start off by taking away 4 from both sides. That gives us y minus 4 is equal to 2x. Then we're going to divide by 2 because we want x on its own and to get rid of the 2. And the relationship between x and 2 is 2 times x. So we divide by 2. We do the inverse. And we're doing the balancing method. We're going to divide both sides by 2. On the left side, we have y minus 4 over 2 is equal to x. Just be careful here, some people will simplify it. You can simplify it if you write it out separately. For example, if I write it out as y over 2 minus 4 over 2 is equal to x, then I can simplify 4 over 2. That would give me y over 2 minus 2 equals x. But we cannot simplify it as y minus 4 over 2 so we cannot just simplify as this. Okay, so to be careful with this simplification. Leave it as it is. You don't want to create any extra work because it is worth two marks. And the question is ask, not asking you to write in a certain form. So I'm going to leave it as x equals y minus 4 over 2. Question 2, similar question. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides t minus 3 is equal to 4v divided by 4 both sides t minus 3 over 4 is equal to v Are your final answer on the dotted line so t minus 3 over 4 I do strongly suggest that you have a go at these questions first before looking at the answers so every time you go to the next question pause it and then give it a go so I would suggest you try with these questions Okay, I hope you had a go at it. So minus 5 to start off with. You're probably getting a hang of this already now. And then divided by 3 both sides. C minus 5 over 3 is equal to H. So H is equal to C minus 5 over 3. And it's worth 2 marks. Some different questions coming up soon. So let's try this one now. Again, have a go at it first. W minus 11 over 3 is equal to T. So I skip some steps here. We kind of know what's going on here now. W minus 11 over 3. Get two marks. Easy two marks. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Do we have a square involved here now the v squared equals u squared plus 2as and we're making s the subject first of all get rid of the term that is on its own so u squared is on its own so minus u squared from both sides so v squared minus u squared is equal to 2as then divided by 2a both sides because we are making s the subject okay so v squared minus u squared over 2a is equal to s so s equals v squared minus u squared over 2a two marks we have a square root on this question so the opposite of square rooting is going to be squaring both sides so we're going to square both sides so t squared is equal to a square and square root inverse of each other to cancel out so we're left with just g plus 6 over 2 get rid of the 2 here so dividing by 2 so that means we need to do the opposite which is times by 2 both sides so t2 squared is equal to g plus 6 2 divided by 2 is just 1 then we need to get rid of the 6 because we need making the well making g the subject so minus 6 from both sides 2t squared minus 6 is equal to g. 
that g equals 2t squared minus 6 and this is where 3 marks Question 7, y equals t over 3 minus 2a, and we are making t the subject. Now 2a is not being divided by 3, so we can just get rid of this one first. So we're going to add 2a on both sides. y plus 2a is equal to minus 2a plus 2a. This leaves us with 0, so we have just t over 3 on this side. Now dividing by 3, so we need to do times by 3 both sides. Now you can uh, times individual terms, or we can leave it as brackets, so 3 brackets, y plus 2a, and 3 and 3 cancel out, left with just t. So t is equal to 3 brackets, y plus 2a, 2 marks. Our last and final question minus s from both sides. You probably realize what you need to do here. Q minus s, making p the subject here, is equal to p over r. And then times by r both sides. Again, can leave r outside bracket. Q minus s is equal to p. And we made p the subject. r brackets q minus s. And this is where two marks. I hope this video helped. If it did, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and we'll look at some higher GCC maths rearranging subject or rearranging uh, formula questions. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths.